Here are seven tips to instantly improve as family. Tip one, not using the focus ability enough or at all. This allows you to see your teammates and if they're chasing someone, as well as seeing objectives such as basement doors, generators, grandpa, blood pools, etc. Remember, this ability regenerates. Use it. Tip two, when feeding grandpa, try to have over half your blood gauge filled. If it's under half and you're feeding him, you're wasting time and getting very little value. It also locks you into a 10 second animation. On the other hand, don't neglect and not feed grandpa as well as using the blood pools. Getting grandpa to higher tiers of detection puts a lot of pressure on the victims. If your blood gauge is filled, hitting a victim will not give you any more. Tip three, every family character's ability can be regenerated. Use them, they make the game a lot easier. Leatherface is good at running people down. Hitchhiker is great at laying traps and cutting off exits. Cook is great for team play. He marks loud victims. Sissy is good at cutting off areas of travel with her clouds. Johnny is good at tracking people down who are hiding. Tip four, I say this again, but patrol objectives. The victims want to survive. For them to do that, they need to disable the objectives. So if you're constantly near them, they will need to find alternative methods to escape or risk being seen. Also, if you are checking objectives and no one's going for them, check bushes, but also check dark areas and corners. More and more players are hiding in plain sight because that's where you would least likely look for them. And most of the time, they get away with it. Tip five, certain perks and builds may change the way you play significantly. Leatherface has a skill tree where his chainsaw won't stall when revving and will reduce the tantrum time to restart the chainsaw. He also has in his skill tree large damage buffs available, reducing the number of hits to down somebody. Sissy has abilities to improve the effectiveness of her poison clouds, making them last longer or more potent. Or when she poisons objectives, they last longer or do long-term damage. Tip six, this is probably the most important tip. Each victim excels at something others lack, so targeting certain victims' weaknesses is a must. Leland and Anna are the characters who want to be chased. Leland can stun the family, and Anna can tank way more hits than any other victim. Connie, Sunny, and Julie are less focused on getting chased and more about sneaking and escaping. These are the people, if you can, to target and down. Connie, right now, is someone I think is the strongest victim as she can insta-open locks and skip the lock-picking minigame altogether, which in turn allows her to escape the quickest. Tip 7. When playing solo, it is less enticing to play with your teammates, as you may believe they have less knowledge or skill than you. This fact may be true, however, this is a team game. Even if you don't want to help them, try to use your teammates as information to find a victim, or as a countermeasure to corner and down a victim. If you use your focus ability and see your teammate swinging their arms, it's because they're attacking someone. If you aren't chasing someone down, go and try to help your teammates. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.